I'm going to be honest, I love board games. So one of the things I love at Toy Fair, of course, is going around seeing all the new board, guy, uh, board games. And I'm at Tactic now, who have got a stand full of them. I'm with Richard from Tactic. Nice to see you again. Good. Nice to see you again. You're going to show us some new stuff then? Absolutely. Let's get on with it. OK, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So we've got some kids action games. So these are particularly designed for young kids. I always find it really hard to find good action games for like three and four year olds. These are really absolutely designed for that age group. So the first one is Beach Bounce, where we're playing for Team Dolphin or Team Seal. And we're oh. literally trying to get three in a row. So we have our beach balls okay. and we get two goes each. And I'll just do this little bounce. So I'm trying to get, maybe if I land here, if I'm Team Seal, oh, that's rubbish. So that would flip to Team Dolphin. Yeah. I get one more, see if I can get at the back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but if I can get three in a row, then I can get obviously three dolphins and I put my flag in the palm tree Yay. and then the first two get three wins the whole game. So oh, nice. very like simple, that. really nice tactile, yeah. yeah. And then we've got Spotlight Slam where the idea is to, one player has to act out one of these animals and the other players have to guess. So you've all got your, you know, take a whacker, I'll take yeah. a whacker. Um, so I would act out one of these animals and see if you can guess which one. So I will take a card and tell me which one to act out, which colour. Uh, okay. Big, okay. some big acting now. It's your big moment, Richard. <laughs> oh. Quick, what? Oh. That's a... <laughs> was that a chicken? No, it wasn't a chicken. It was oh, a... It, oh, oh. It was a walrus. Oh, I thought it was a cow. Was <laughs> My second attempt was a cow. Anyway. You, wow. you wouldn't have won that game, but no, another player might have won. So I'll, that's quite funny. I blame so the acting, was, Richard. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Another one. I, I, I would. I yeah. would. <laughs> so there was. <laughs> they're two good. Uh, they're part of a range of action games we've got. Okay. For kids, uh, we've got another great uh, action game here. Oh, someone's actually. Someone's actually kind of dismantled it. So this is. Um, oh, this is brilliant. Okay. Im Im impromptu gameplay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's all made of cards. So. The have it's Jolly Polly, and the idea is that you have to get rid of all your parrots. You start off with six parrots each, and you have to balance them on the tree. Uh, now, when oh, wow. okay, now when this tree isn't kind of falling apart, the tree wobbles around, so you can see the parrots actually kind of start to kind of really move, and they kind of look like they're alive. So this whole tree ends up being full of parrots. Wow. And then if you're obviously a bit too vicious, the parrots fall off, and obviously I'll have to glue that tree together. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So yeah, it's very simple kind of family yeah. kind of action Fair tower way. game so then we move on to party games i must admit i really love the i don't know who your designer is but yeah. i love the branding of this yeah and this really has this kind of you know we're a finnish company it has that kind of very nordic kind of yeah. clean look to it really nice these games 12.99 the rules are in the lid oh is that it that's the rules and they're all super simple um and 200 cards really nicely displayed so they're very kind of giftable these kind of games they have that kind of look um, this one, I won't display all the gameplay, but give you an example. So this one is wrong is right. So you have to give me the, the, the right answer is the wrong answer. Okay, right. So seven actors in total have portrayed Agent 007 in a film. In which film did Sean Connery play James Bond? Goldfinger, Diamonds Are Forever, Live and Let Die. Live and Let Die. Absolutely, because that's that Jamal. Oh, excellent. Oh, God. That okay. twists your head around. That is quite strange. So they've all got a twist. They've all got funny, you know, nice, simple rules to get. Uh, but again, good party games. Again, the look is really important part. Yeah, I think they look amazing. It's great. They look really As you say, you can imagine like a shop for a gift. You've got yeah. to get a quick birthday yeah. present or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, this one is No Way Jose. So each player takes the turn of being Jose, okay. and they have to try and fool the other players with their weird facts and figures so we all have these boards and we all have these tokens so if you think what i'm about to say is true you yes. put a green happy donkey and if you think what i'm saying is false you give a donkey kick let's give it a go so uh, we'll start off so the first one let's clear that off so yep. we're all obviously voting yep. together so these are um let's pick a card let's uh, pick a card okay um hitchcock movies okay, okay. good i like my movies dial m for murder yeah that, that was one vertigo that was one. Strangers on a plane. Don't think that was. The 54 steps. Oh, I'm not sure. Saboteur. No, I'm going to say yes for 54 steps, no for saboteur. And Mr. and Mrs. Smith. No. OK. And then the first one da -da -da -da, was correct. Yay. Two was correct. Yay. Three, strange on a plane. And eh, eh. you said eh, eh. you were right. Oh, Fantastic. You. Four, 54 steps. Is wrong. Oh, I knew it wasn't his. Uh, saboteur. 
is correct. Uh, that wrong. And Mr. Mrs. Smith was correct as well. So you got that wrong. Uh, well, you, good. You won some. You take yeah, your winning. Exactly. You will take your winning answers. You get rid of the rest. First player to 15 tokens wins the game. So I like that. The idea of just being everyone can kind of put their own spin on their Jose impression, trying to fool the other players. So yeah, really nice sort of fun content. Easy to get play party game. Love it. Okay, so we're going to move on to. We'll come around here. Oh, cool, you got loads of stuff to see. Yeah, Richard. Hack my password. So the easiest way to describe this is a 21st century reinvention of Hangman. Ah, okay. Classic gameplay, but this time with hackers. So you take the role of being a hacker, good hacker or a bad hacker, you decide. And you have your firewall unit, which is like this, where the doors flip up. Yep. Okay, so this is your firewall. And you have to come up with a password. So you get given some cards which give you a hint to your password. Yep. So here I've got European country and land animal. So my password was Tiger Finland. Okay. Oh, right. Now, if I want to, and if you're playing with very young kids, like six year olds, you could um, keep it like that. Whereas if you want to play the slightly more advanced game, you can encrypt your password Ooh. where you actually mix it up. So on this one, my, um, country, my, my, my cards were winter and parts of the body. Yep. And I, my password was snow armpit. <laughs> but I actually encrypted it, so I mixed all my letters up. So during the game, we put our firewall down, like this, and you're trying to basically guess my password. You know the cards I've got, so you know this, like the clue might be land, animal, European country. Yeah. You ask me uh, letters, so has it got an A, has it got a B, has it got an E? If it has, I should reveal them on my password, uh, on, my, on my firewall. Yeah. If they're not, then you move around the board, and there's two hints. As we get around the board here, trying to get to the middle, there's two hints. We get to the satellite, sorry, the, yeah, the satellite. I have to show you where my word split, so now you know I've got uh, like a four and five letter. Yeah, yeah. Once I get to the, sat the, the, the radar, then I have to show you which order my words are in. So it gets easier and easier. Fine. Um, so yeah, really, again, classic gameplay with Hangman, if you think about how yeah, that played, but, but given a completely modern spin with And, and, uh, and well done, you've got Al Murray, the pub <laughs> landlord, advertising your game. Looks bang, it looks like, he, it's like him, a bit of a younger version. Uh, so that's Hack My Password, and our last one we have is to 15 minutes to self-destruct. I often feel like that. <laughs> so this is a very high intensity game experience, kind of built around the escape room feel. Love escape rooms, but, seriously. But completely different at the oh, same okay. time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all the experience of escape room. But you know with escape rooms, once you've sort of played them, you've, you're, you're done. done. Yeah. This one you play over and over and Ooh. over again. So you play as a team um, of, of astronauts. You've, your spaceship's been hit by a meteor. It's all gone crazy. The computer's going to blow the ship up. You've got 15 minutes to escape. Um, you have to get around the ship, here's your characters, uh, to activate these switches which are scattered around the ship and turn them on to, to act so you can uh, go on the escape pod. But to do that you've got to get through the doors, as you can see all these doors are shut, and to activate the doors um, you have to roll dice. Now you put your mobile phone oh, that's in the middle, is. yep, okay. yeah, it takes any phone um, from the small phones up to the big iPhone XLs, no problem, yep. uh -huh. buried away. Um, and we now saw roll dice. So I've got a, a six and a two. Yep. So I look at this, I imagine I'm a yellow player. I could do, have I got a two? I could do two and six, yep. or it, I could do an eight. I could add those two together oh, and do an eight, okay? Then it's the red player's turn. Yep. They would roll um, five. Uh, there's no five on this side. Three and a two. Three and a two uh, Oh no, uh, where's the three? Is the three? Oh, uh, any of oh, right, which means I take a card and the right. cards give me special abilities in ah, the game, okay? So you're, on your turn, you can either um, roll or move, but obviously, yeah. once we get a few doors open, this player could move out here, flip the switch, and then we're on a roll. But it's, it's, you really, it's all, you're on the money, every second counts yeah. literally with this game, and the countdown's ticking down all well, the time. <laughs> and we've got, it's got really cool sound effects, which you probably can't hear with all the noise, but the, the app's got really cool sound effects. Um, so yeah, this is a, a great um, a, a sort of different kind of experience. It plays a bit like a movie because mm. it, it always you can never complete this game uh, with less than three minutes remaining. So we've got the red alert phase of the game, which adds the intensity. The screen goes crazy. All the players go, oh, we've got three minutes left. <laughs> so it, it really kind of gives that feeling of like being in a movie. Yeah, yeah. Really. Well, thank you. Look, loads at Tactic Games. Richard's here. The rest of his team's here. Come and see Tactic. Do you know your stand number? Uh, I should know my stand number. I don't know my stand. Uh, we are in I or C. Yes. So there, uh, C at the end near the entrance. Yeah, That'll do. You'll find it. It's a nice big open stand. Thanks so much, Richard. Good okay. to see you. Take care. See you. Later.